a recently published study that assessed the functionality of health facilities and geographical distribution of health crisis in Tigray between February 2021 and June 2021 found that just 4% of health facilities in Tigray were fully functional. The study assessed all 1,007 health facilities across the state. One of the researchers, Dr. Fasika Amdeslasi, says this has affected Tigray's health system to a degree that many are unable to access health care. The study came up with only 4% were fully functional, 96% of the healthcare facilities were not providing service fully. So this, this puts uh, the people at risk of so many types of uh, diseases and illnesses. And on top of that, add siege after June, because this study was conducted from uh, February to June. So already, as you have said, 96% of the healthcare was compromised and almost 70% or more well, no, almost were not functional or no communication. On top of that, you add uh, siege where nothing came in, no additional uh, medicine came in or no additional thing, uh, no supply came. So you can imagine how compromised the healthcare is in Integra. The study categorized health facilities as fully functional, partially functional, non-functional, or no communication, based on important indicators, says Dr. Fasica. If a health facility has all the departments running, like uh, emergency services 24-7, if um, there are uh, office or OPD services are available, if the communicable disease departments are available, if the non-communicable disease services are available, nutritional screening and reproductive maternal and child health, all this. If all of them are functional, then we'll um, consider that uh, health facility as uh, functional. But if either of these are missing or if only one is available, then that will be considered as partially functional. But say if the healthcare facility is deserted or if it is destroyed partly or fully, uh, then if no, if no one is coming to get service, then we'll consider that health facility as uh, non-functional. And lastly, in those places where we could not access, where we could not go and see, um, we consider them as no communication. Dr. Fasica also adds that the findings of the study point out that the fully functional health facilities are almost entirely located in urban areas, with health facilities in rural areas sustaining the most significant damage, leading to the near collapse of the Grice health system. But most of the functional hospitals are found in the city, especially Magana city, and then some in Adigrat and Aksu. The rest, almost 90% of the rural areas, they were either no communication, or no, fun no functional. So the health centers, the hospitals that were functional were in the cities, whereas the rural uh, health facilities, they were not providing service. Dr. Fasica says that destruction has had a severe impact on the most vulnerable members of the community, especially pregnant women and children. If you take uh, API vaccination for children, except Magala, nowhere in Tigray it was being given. And in most, in, in, in the 84, health centers that, that we labeled non-functional, mothers were not delivering. They were, there was no ANC. They could not come for follow-up. And children, they could not be seen when they, have, when they are sick. Health workers in Tigray, Dr. Fasica says, feel abandoned by the international community that has so far failed to take any serious action to elevate the suffering in Tigray. I think the world has failed us. Uh, it has failed us uh, because now politics and other things have taken the upper ground, the upper hand, and humanity, healthcare, professionalism, and the like, uh, they are so much neglected, and it is costing us a lot of lives. According to the World Health Organization, close to 4 million people in Tigray are in dire need of medical care, many of whom will not be able to access it due to the Ethiopian government's blockade on essentials like medical supplies and food aid.